Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 and we have a another car which is gonna review which is a two of them one is already review already but I gotta I gotta do this one again <laughs> why not we gotta do it again another one is a a, a alloy roof well roof actually I have to be honest <laughs> I could and figure out what the rhyme I gotta do this one I'm not saying it but I, I gotta do this one and ask you probably no. <laughs> to perspective of the Porsche enthusiast, some people got to think it, wait, my fa some people got to say, hey, my favorite car is a 911 GT3 RS. <laughs> yeah, I also love GT3 RS, but my personal favorite of the GT3 is a normal GT3 with the manual gearbox. But you may notice like, you already did this one here, already you may know. All right, <laughs> yeah, the GT3 RS. This is a Porsche 911 GT3 RS, the 991 generation as well. As you probably know, people love this particular car quite a lot actually, to be honest. And secondly, this is a fully track focused car ever. Well, normal GT3, he also the track focus as well. This is a more track focused racer. Yeah, because of this is a a hardcore racing machine as well and this particular and not how uh, today people loved it as you probably know well I personally love the GT3 RS as well uh, but my personal GT3 he line up the Porsche 911 is, is the 992 with a manual gearbox but the 991 also came out the later one 999 991 Doc 2 who is a he did the manual gearbox version the 99 I 1.2 version on the normal GT3 and this particular car is fully track focused not just has the inside also the outside as well <coughs> well even if, if you remember the, this particular car I review with the the later GT3 RS this one here you notice about it as pro but no yes this is one of the car I want to drive as well well I already drive it in this game actually the 4 liter flat 6 normally aspirated engine producing 491 horsepower and also 461 newton meters of torque which is, is a good thing is it even though this has a 7 speed he automated Porsche dual clutch gearbox as well and weighs about 1420 kilograms as well and to, to be fair the 911 GT3 RS also have the what's it called the 4 wheel steering I did notice about it, <laughs> but this particular car you may know this is one of the a fully track focus. If you remember the old game, the old previous this game like PlayStation 4, right? I use it this on the PlayStation 4 as well on the Grand Turismo 7. But this particular car, even today, people still love the GT3 RS, even though the best sounding normally aspirated engine as well. People love. I did so hard huh? uh, somehow it has a four only colors yeah four only colors it has a lava orange people thought wait is, why does it look like red I I don't know <laughs> no it, it's lava orange but I I just figured out uh, I figured out a couple of years ago but I just didn't notice it was lava orange I, I thought it was red the ultraviolet the GT silver metallic and also white <laughs> that's it you would get the, I well lava the ultraviolet purple the ultraviolet is pretty much cool as well with the silver wheels and the the he the he the, the lava orange with the a hey, clear coat color uh, what's it called again? again I didn't remember much <laughs> this gray gray wheels is was amazing the silver colors on on the ultraviolet with the wheels and silver colors on the wheels that was awesome this one here is really one much cool oh yeah carbon ceramic brakes and as well yeah carbon ceramic brakes on this car is pretty much awesome if you remember the car a brand called Ruff well, Ruff actually here yeah, this is a, a tune a factory tune ver car for the mostly you know this based on the Porsche 911 as well and yeah I just want to talk about this car all right, well, the, I just wanted to talk about this car. I, it just teased me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just. If you remember the name Yellowbird, the CTR Yellowbird, that's the most coolest car ever built. How about a fully track focused car like this one here? This is the Rough RGT 4.2. If you don't know why, how they call it the RG. 
PT. This is one of the the iconic name for the rough actually. Oh yeah, if you don't know, oh this is based on the Porsche 911 GT3 as well. <laughs> yeah, if you if I correct me if I'm wrong, but this particular car is a, a fully built in-house by rough as well. They not just modify the cosmetic as well. They also tune the engine as well. Uh, from the hey, factory. Oh yeah, if you don't know a portion, a portion will give it the permission a uh, rough to build. Give permission to rough to build uh, their the factory of the factory model for the mod the East car. Uh, if I correct me if I'm wrong, but this particular car is a one one of the coolest thing about the rough RGD 4.2. This is the most best looking, one of the best looking as well. Hell. I, and I didn't notice the the front bumper. It's like it's like the old was it the the Blackbird Porsche, the Blackbird Porsche 911 Turbo from the One Gun Midnight one, and and the front of the holes were on the front. That was the this, the coolest design as well. <laughs> yeah, that's really. Yeah, and also wider arches, the mid center exhaust. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can see, he the side as well. That's really cool details. The engine on this car is very he, extremely upgraded and also the very powerful as well. The 4.2 liter flat six engine producing 517 horsepower and also 482 newton meters of torque or as well. This particular engine as well is upgraded from the normal 4 liter flat six for the Porsche to up to the 4 4.2 it's 200 cc more than the standard gt3 as well and it weighs about 1.4 tons this is 20 kilograms lighter than the gt3 rs and if the the, the, the fact of the matter is the the car uh, itself it's awesome um, to look as well yeah it is and it has an 18 colors on it has a the the, the base color is, is grand prix white silver uh, grand prix white silver black Sahara, uh, Sahara. I I could. Is it peach one? Peach color as well. You light yellow. The the iconic light yellow. If you remember the CTR yellow bird, this is what the color the people want to get. And it blossom yellow, orange. We got they got orange, orange, orange. It's a, the blood orange. Oh yeah, if you don't know, blood orange is also fruit as well. Blood orange scotch. India red, huh? I didn't notice it, but it magenta. Oh yeah, if you, if you, some people gonna say it's. Hey, look, why is looks pink? It's not pink. It's magenta. The, the one that I, I see it, I see it. Oh, I, I just, <laughs> okay, so sorry about that. I just, I just cough and cough a bit. People gonna think it. it why it looks like pink? It's not pink. It's magenta. Like, like I know, as I said, it's not pink. It's magenta. It's it's a CMYK a hey, color I use it for the day. The, the reference I use it on the, C, the, C, the CMYK was the printer color, the, the printer ink color as well. This is one of the the, the magenta. <laughs> How cool is that they have a magenta colors as as well? Oh yeah, don't don't say it was pink. It was magenta. Okay. Strawberry. Mm. <laughs> I want to eat strawberry ice cream for that. Wait, why is it called strawberry? And oh, that's it. Albert, Albert guy in the dark purple, acid blue, Mexico blue, oh, gold blue, jade green, yellow, oh green. What was? Oh, that was pretty a cool one. And birch green, oh light green. <laughs> I, I don't know. That it is. Most of the German. A language was it? <laughs> but I know people are gonna think it. Hey, hey, Bobby, can you use this magenta? <laughs> I, I, dude, I know I'd be fed a comment right in the king, but I could and put the, the magenta color. So I gotta put it in the, the soup. Yeah, very uh, iconic as well. The the let's put like and the yellow green as well. Uh, as you probably know, <laughs> it's 360,000. I I can't stop laughing, and as well, 360 grand for the Porsche. <laughs> it's not Porsche. It's a rough RGT 4.2. <laughs> okay, you guys gotta think about it. This, uh, what what gearbox on this? Yes, uh, it's the same identical Porsche gearbox as well. The Porsche uh, do a twin clutch twin clutch gearbox. So which track I gotta pick now this time? Well, first I gotta use it. The the one of the oh, oh the walking grants first. We gotta use the walking grants. Walking grants, nah, I just, 
Nah, I just joking. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I gotta use the 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 iconic Lakuna Seca as well. Hell, you may notice, and as the RGT I gotta do on the Jeff and Drag as well. So let's get started anyway.
Some people gonna think it. Wait, why is it mostly rough cars has as the Porsche chassis? Yeah, the Porsche chassis on, on there as well. <coughs> yeah, it is. It's actually. Oh yeah, if it, I did notice it said Carrera, but I I did. What did I say? But this particular car, the RGT 4.2. This is one of the most track focused car. Look at the bucket. It has a bucket seat as well, and roll cage. Well, a bit. <laughs> and oh yeah, the center lot is oh, a center lot. Is, the center lot wheels as well. That's a really cool, cool detail. No, and also the white board, white f uh, arches, the white body flare on this one. It's pretty much uh, awesome as well. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a four seat. Uh, I did not say it's a four seater. Uh, some people co say, hey, you can remove the rear diffuser on it. Wait, really? I did not say. <laughs> well, even though these days that the rough is one of the greatest car of all time, I know some the video, some games they, they remove the rough. Rough actually, the rough. Uh, I didn't notice about it on the asphalt. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's a Carrera. I did notice that. Had about it. But this particular car, even though oh, this is a one of the fo track focused car like like a 911 GT3 RS, it's pretty much com comfortable and also very fast mind-blowing fast as well and, and another one here oh yeah it has hey, if you've seen the detail of Michelin pilot sport the Michelin tires you notice about it and also the, the, it has a, a ceramic brakes I did not yes, and then if I noticed the, the rough own brakes as well they're mostly uh, they're mostly the, the, the and mostly rough these these cars is tuned house by rough itself the one of the coolest thing as well it's one of the cool details 
as you probably know, as you probably notice, the GT3 RS. Uh, I just noticed that the oil change is set normal. The oil, the engine oil set normal. I gotta change the oil uh, later. <laughs> that means it indicated oil, change the oil. So this GT3 RS is one of the most powerful as well back in the day, as well back in the day. The most well, high revving in car of all time. This one 9,000 RPM and all, oh yeah, the rough. Tough one limited to the 8,000. That's why I rev high to an 8,500. This particular car is a fully track focused car of all time as well. Even these days, this particular car and also how oh, the carbon ceramic brakes. This particular car is a f fully developed for the Carrera Cup, Cup racing in competition as well. This is a homologated car for that competition for the Porsche One Mate race, the Carrera Cup. Uh, and also this one here, the one of the greatest car, people, most fans love it as well. Fan, Porsche fa fans very, still love this car, as you probably know. <laughs> I have no, I, I have no idea how to describe it. Uh, this car as well, but I pretty love the 911. I very love it. I like the 911 GT3 as well. The GT3 RS also I like. So and look, the the the, the clock is functional as well. Oh yeah. I don't know. It also it has a, also have the ex active and sport exhaust. At this sport as well as you probably know. The bucket seat on this thing is pretty much awesome, hey, and is was well, cool actually. Oh yeah, look at the carbon ceramic brakes uh, on this car. It's fantastic, and some people are gonna. I love it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Grand Turismo 7 and any other video on this channel, be sure to smash the like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also Hoyo Lab. Link in the description box below. See you next time and goodbye.